So we noticed that your company works on both like mobile games and mm -hmm. browser games as well. Yeah. So like, what are some of the challenges behind developing these sort of games? Um, browser games is getting a little harder because everything's switching over to HTML5. Yeah, and so, well, with HTML5, we have a good opportunity to be web and mobile since it works on both platforms. Um, but we find certain audiences like certain platforms to play on. So it's just picking and choosing which game goes where. So, I mean, I heard for, you said for Fairy Tale earlier, mm -hmm. there's going to be both a mobile and like a browser aspect to it. Um, we already have a browser game out right now. It's not an official launch. It's an open beta currently. All right. uh, it should be live, full launch anytime now. The mobile game will actually be a full MMO, which is different from the turn-based right. browser game. So, in my opinion, the mobile game is going to be way more worth it. Right. But if you like browser games, then you will like fairy tale. So, this differentiation, mm -hmm. like the. MMO is because it's going towards mobile? Is that the yes. trend that you're looking at? <laughs> so, like, what is your guys' We noticed that you have like a lot of different alliances or like relationships with other companies, yes. such as Funimation. Um, no, we have. Oh, I'm not, sorry, I messed up. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Just like, Funimation? Yeah. Right. We have a partnership with Karancha, which is very tell Attack on Titan, licensed with them. Um, our, we do have a very strong relationship with Funimation, though. They are our sister company. Sister company. Yes. All right. um, so it helps us out a lot on deciding which titles to go for. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a lot of cross promotions we do with each other. So what are the current promotions going on right now? Uh, right now, Tokyo Ghoul is our biggest thing right Same. now, just because it's live already. Our next biggest will either be Attack on Titan or Fairy Tale Mobile, whichever comes first. Um, and both of those, all three of those actually, will be partnered with Funimation. So you'll be seeing like them do giveaways for our stuff, us doing giveaways for their stuff, and oh. all kinds so of So those kind of campaigns and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. All right, so more regarding the details of your company, does mm -hmm. Game Sumbo develop the games? Or do you um, localize the games? We have, we do both. Right. So we have like 18 Dream World, which huh? is actually 18 in Japan, and they made Gonzo made a anime out of it called 18 Nip. Um, it's developed in Japan. We localized in English and published in North America. Um, and then, but most of them, our current games, we're developing through our other offices. We have offices in Japan, offices in Hong Kong. So we try to keep it as in house as possible. As in house as possible. Yeah. Well, speaking of 18, we heard that's like it's a very popular game. So, what's like some of what goes into making it so successful when branding is part of the success? 18, it's very, it's a good story. It's, it's like just a really good storyline, and then it turned into the anime, which brought it more attention. So, that and it being tied to Funimation, because Funimation also had a license for the anime. Mm -hmm. So we did cross promotions there, like so always. So you can roll the both sides. Yeah. All right. And so we help each other out as much as we can. You care to expand a little more about what 18, like the, what it is? Or the like gameplay? The story sort of. Well? The story is you're the main char character and you have a helper guy that's with you. He's like, because you're confused, you don't know where you are. And then you're running through this dream world where you're stuck and you're saving goddesses because they're locked in a coma. You have to help them fight their memory back. And, um, it just has a really interesting story, and the, the goddesses turn into witches, and then the witches turn back into goddesses, and then they become your helpers, and they do cool skills, and all the characters have skills, and they all look super cool. <laughs> and the art's really nice. So what's the best part about the story? I think my favorite part of the story is um, connecting to one of the characters. I think it's super easy for you to any person to connect to one of those characters because there's so many of them. So would you care to uh, spend a little bit more about the other games like the Tokyo Ghoul game as well? Tokyo Ghoul is um, turn-based turn action RPG. It's very... oh actually it's not turn-based myself. My bad. <laughs> it's uh, action RPG. Um, 
it goes through the seasons one and two, and you're just fighting along the storyline, and it has like the clips of the anime in there. It's super fun. We just did a recent update last night, actually, for a major update for a real-time PvP. Real-time PvP? Yes. All right. So well, there's the generic PvP, and it kind of looks like it's a MOBA, but you're fighting against a bot always. But now it's real-time PvP where you pick and ban characters and you enter into, it's more of an open space, so it's not like a mobile map, and you fight each other in real time. So that's super exciting. That must have been like, pretty challenging to implement PvP, given there's mm -hmm. like a lot of different games where it's just a simple, mm -hmm. you know, like you go for rankings instead. Yeah. But like, so what are some of the challenges that you ran into when making the PvP? I don't really know what challenges they ran into, but I know we planned this PvP system since before the game was launched. Oh, so you went yeah, into this game like we finally a PvP. reached it. Yeah, oh. we had to have a PvP, and especially in Tokyo Gold. It's so that seems violent. Kind of, you gotta get into that action and stuff. Yeah. So we made sure we got it in there. We've been working on it for a long time, and it's finally out. We're excited about it. So like, um, it seems to be a pretty wide diversity of game genres. Yeah. Are there any genres that you guys are looking forward to working on, or is it, or that you're allowed to say? Um, we have some more anime titles coming up. I can't announce them yet, but they are pretty big and well-known titles. <laughs> All right. So we look out for the announcements for those, and then we also have Star Trek: Alien Domain. Oh yeah. And we're that. we're making. Um, some improvements on that coming soon. Oh. So how has the path of Star Trek been so far? I mean, like it's We've kind of been different... live for three years now, and we have a very strong, dedicated community. They're very opinionated, <laughs> and they're, um, they actually love the game so much, they help us with their feedback constantly. And so we have an actual Star Trek council, and we go in meetings with them, like voice meetings with them on Discord and chat with them and grab their feedback and push it through the developers and see what we can get done. So that's, that's worked amazing. out pretty good for us. Yeah. It's worked out good for them too because they're still around. <laughs> so it's very interesting. It's very different from anime world. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's like different feel. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of the communities. Mm -hmm. Are you mostly localized for like an American community or is it like global or are there any specific Depending on games, I mostly handle English speaking community. Um, we do have German, French, Chinese, Japanese, yeah, <laughs> it goes on. We have, we have Portuguese also, um, but like certain titles are only, like Tokyo Bowl, we have English territories only, so it's usually in English. I mean, if someone in another country has the game or someone in North America that wants to speak to us in another language, we will try, but gotta, we can't promise hard, always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So like, so for the distribution though, is mm -hmm. it mostly, like so you work mostly American, but then, like are there any games that are particularly popular in other countries as well? Fairy tale, uh, our fairy tale web game is worldwide, so worldwide. we have crazy amounts of people from all over the country in our support and in our forums and we try as best as we can to answer all of them. But luckily for us, a lot of them do understand English and speak English, so it helps us out a lot. Definitely. It's a little bit easier to reach them. Yeah. <laughs> our biggest issue, our hardest thing to deal with, I should say, um, when we have a worldwide game is when there's like events, like if there's like PvP oh, events, world yeah, bosses, like the, the timing is so hard to get right on that. So it takes a while to optimize it to the perfect time. So it sounds like, so this is a global server then, everybody's on the same server. Mm -hmm. so, so far right So now. far for Fairy Tale. Yeah. So like, for other games, are they differentiated by servers as well? Or no, are they differentiated by servers? No. I mean, there's a, we have more servers than one on Tokyo Pool. Mm -hmm. They're only separated though by device right now, device? iOS or Android, so those servers are separated. Everything else is okay, but actually our PvP that we just started will cross-platform. It will be cross-platform? Yes. Okay, that's exciting. Yes. <laughs> 
So wait, but you said there's differences between Android and iOS. Are there like different promotions or something? Or are there different um, no, they just have different servers because we launched the iOS after we launched the Android. Oh, okay. And so we want the iOS users to kind of catch up to the Android before we shove them all together. So we don't want them to feel right. like overpowered by people that had an advantage. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there was no fun and yeah. everybody gets stuck in one. Yeah. So eventually they'll all cross, but right now they're separated. <laughs> so, so far, you've been working with, I think, CBS Studios? Right? Yeah. Are there any other kind of studios that you plan or like, places that you plan on working with? Um, not that I can mention right now. All right. But there's definitely <laughs> stuff in the yes. works. Yes. There's a lot of stuff in the works, and a lot of it's coming soon. Hopefully, we'll have announcements ready for you guys. <laughs> That's all we have so much so far. Yeah. Thank you so much for answering the question.